In this lesson, we're going to look at Brownian motion. Now, Brownian motion provides evidence that liquids and gases are made of tiny particles and that these particles are moving around at very high speeds and with a random motion. Okay, so we have... Now, this random motion of the particles has become known as Brownian motion because it was the scientist Robert Brown who first observed it. He observed under a microscope objective, tiny grains of pollen immersed in water. Okay, so we have here a photograph of some pollen grains. He noticed that each little pollen grain was kind of jiggling around in, in a random motion. And he concluded that it must be jiggling in this way because something invisible to his eye was colliding with the pollen grains. And he concluded that that must be due to collisions with particles of water which were far, far, far smaller than the pollen grains. And because these pollen grains were moving around with this random motion, then the water particles themselves must also be moving with the same type of random motion. Now you can observe similar types of motion, for example, if you look at particles of dust or soot, for example, in a shaft of light entering in through a window on a sunny day. So if you look carefully, you've got these little little grains of dust, right? And uh, they're illuminated by the shaft of light and you watch them move. It'll, they'll move that way and then suddenly change direction Okay, and each time they change the direction, it's because they're being hit by an air particle which is moving at high velocity. Okay, so even though the grains of dust compared to the air particles are enormous, because the air particles are moving with such high velocities, they can impact on the particles of dust and cause them to change direction. So we've got the movement. Again, this is still known as Brownian motion. And a similar phenomenon which also demonstrates the presence of air particles which are invisible to our eye but moving randomly is that of diffusion. And a classic experiment often quoted in textbooks is the diffusion of bromine gas into air. Okay, so you have a container of bromine gas here. This might be our two for bromine gas and air here. And the two containers are separated by card. And when we remove the card, and when we do that, the bromine molecules slowly start to move up the container. Now, they are actually travelling extremely high velocities. Some of these air particles can be travelling at between 200 to 1,000 metres every second. Yet this motion is a very slow motion. Okay? It's known as diffusion. And this slow motion is caused by the fact that the bromine particles are constantly colliding with the air particles. And the air particles effectively, effectively block their movement. Okay, so again, this is a consequence of this random motion of air particles. Now, this is rather a dangerous experiment to perform in the laboratory because, because bromine is such a dangerous gas. But you can observe the similar sort of diffusion effects, for example, simply by adding ink to water. Okay, so we have a test tube of, say, cold water. Let's put that cold water. You can observe this experiment in the practical demos section under particle model. And if you add some ink to the cold water, well, it will sink down to the bottom because the ink's got higher density than water. But after a while, you'll notice that the ink slowly starts to spread through the water. And it does so slowly because the particles of ink are colliding with the water molecules. The water molecules block their advance, so to speak. 
And this slow spreading of one substance through another one, just like the bromine through air, is known as diffusion. Now if we change the experiment and use hot water, for example, instead of cold water, and add our drop of ink, well, the, this process of diffusion takes place a lot, lot quicker. Right? Very quickly, the ink will spread through the, the water. And it does so because when the particles are hotter, they move faster. They move at greater speeds and therefore they spread through each other at a greater velocity. So we can say that diffusion is the slow spreading of particles through a liquid or a gas caused by random collisions between those particles.